Hey guys, Harris here, and today we're looking at the Tudia Omnix case for the OnePlus 5. Tudia reached out to me asking me to really test out the durability of three of their cases on video, and today we're starting with the most protective of the three and going down in subsequent episodes, getting a little bit riskier each time. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so before we hop into the drops, let's learn a little bit about what this case offers. It is two pieces. There's a front and a back and a built-in screen protector. The screen protector is the one thing that I don't necessarily love about the case. While it is added protection, it has an ever so slightly sticky, tappy feeling and sound uh, when pressing it hard. It's something I can certainly live with and it's pretty subtle. Uh, and you can also cut out the screen protector if you want. Not the end of the world, but just something I noticed, something small. The exterior TPU comes in four colors and is pretty great. I particularly love the red color because it's super sporty and fiery and I dig it. The buttons press and the flaps flap and they're all easy to open and easy to press. No problems there. And on top of that, there's also some added peace of mind with the dust and splash resistance that you can get with these flaps, keeping out anything from getting in the ports. And everything else on the case is perfectly exposed. And my favorite part of this case is that it is still super slim, slides in and out of the pockets easily, the scratches clean off well, and the fingerprints are hidden pretty well. Alright, let's get to some drops. The dreaded get out of the car and have it drop on the concrete. While we're out here, we'll do a chest level drop. Actually, we'll do a headshot in case I was dropping this uh, while on a call. In three, two, one on concrete. Up next is when you forget just where you are. Okay, and after all three of those drops, as well as probably about three or four others, we had to redo this shot. It turned out perfectly fine. Seriously, no damage to the case, everything cleaned off, and it's looking pretty much perfect. Now, I think really the star of this case is the front protection. Anything that covers up the front like this does is just so valuable because the most sensitive part of a phone is definitely the screen. You see so many people with cracked displays when you have this front protection like this. Any fall in the front, you should be good, and as you can tell by this video, any fall pretty much anywhere, and you should be good. It's a super slim case, it's rigid, it's sturdy, it looks good, uh, and it resists fingerprints and dirt and everything like that pretty well. If you guys have any questions about this case, leave me a comment down below, since I have both the phone and the case, I can answer those for you uh, if you have anything more specific. But thank you very much for watching. If you are interested in picking this up, a link will be down below as always, and stay tuned for a couple more videos testing out some slimmer and lighter cases uh, coming up within the next week or so but thank you very much for watching and I will see you all in the next one